Ever wondered which Witcher school you'd belong to if you found yourself in the vast and dangerous world of The Witcher? Just like the diverse and unique witches they produce, each school has its own distinct characteristics, trials and traditions. From the disciplined warriors of the School of the Wolf or the agile assassins of the School of the Cat, to the scholarly mages of the School of the Griffin, each school offers a unique path to becoming a witcher. So strap on your silver swords, prepare your potions, and let's embark on a journey to discover more about all seven witcher schools, and which might be the right fit for you. In the world of The Witcher, there isn't just one path to becoming a monster hunter. There are several Witcher schools, each with its own unique philosophy, training methods, and trials. These schools are scattered across the continent, hidden away in remote keeps and fortresses, each a bastion of a particular style of Witcher. But it wasn't always this way. Originally, all Witchers were part of one grand order, created to defend the newly settled humans on the continent from the vast array of monsters that preyed on them. This order would eventually fall to disagreements and tension amongst its members, with a series of violent schisms splitting it into separate Witcher schools, each with their own goals, gear, and training. And to begin our journey, let's start with the most renowned of them all, the School of the Wolf. Nestled within the ancient fortress of Kaer Morhen, this school was formed by those witches of the original order who remained following its splintering. Known for producing some of the most professional and reliable witches on the continent, including the legendary Geralt of Rivia, the School of the Wolf prides itself on creating witches who are as comfortable with a sword in their hand as they are with casting signs. The trials of the Wolf School are gruelling, designed to punish the body and mind to their absolute limits. And while all witches, regardless of their school, had to undertake variations of the infamous trials of the grasses, dreams, and mountains, more on that can be found in this video up here. A separate trial, known as the Trial of the Forest Eyes, was sometimes used by this school for their final exam instead of the Trial of the Mountain. In this particular trial, you would be taken out into the woods, blindfolded, and tied up, having to rely on your senses to return back to your instructor by morning, to pass the trial and receive your Witcher medallion. If you value adaptability, balance, and have a strong moral compass, then the School of the Wolf might be the Witcher school that best aligns with you. Next, we venture into the shadowy world of the School of the Cat, known for producing a cadre of psychopaths, madmen, and sadists. Either due to the type of apprentice recruited into this school, or a particularly potent mutagen used during training, the Cat Witches are known for their insatiable bloodlust and cruelty, making them deadly assassins, a profession that most Witches shy away from. And crossing one of these guys was not a wise move, with them being known to slaughter entire villages should they not be paid for a job. As for their training, well, unlike the balanced approach of the Wolf School, the Cat School focuses on speed, agility, and lethal precision, utilizing lighter gear to maximize flexibility, and more precise weapons for critical strikes. The school is located in the traveling caravan known as Din Marv, and as such they must seek to train new apprentices whilst on the move. The trials of the Cat School are as gruelling as any other, with a particular emphasis on stealth and agility, the final trial having you gradually walking higher and higher on a tightrope, without falling off to your demise. Their foul reputation and willingness to take out high-ranking humans, as well as monsters, is believed by many to be one of the main reasons humans came to despise and fear witches as a whole. If you value speed and agility, or just have some questionable morals, then the School of the Cat might be the Witcher School for you. Leaving behind the shadows dwelled in by the Cat School, we now soar into the realm of the Griffin. The School of the Griffin is known for its scholarly Witchers, who blend their swordsmanship with a deep understanding of magic, headquartered at Kaer Sain in Kovir and Pavis. Students of the Griffin commanded more respect in comparison to other schools, thanks in part to their keeping with some of the knightly chivalric values of the original Witcher order. Unlike the other schools, the Griffin places a significant emphasis on the study of magic and signs. Their Witchers are not just warriors, but also scholars, spending as much time with their noses in ancient texts as they do with a sword in their hand. This scholarly approach gives them a unique advantage, allowing them to use signs with much more potency and versatility than their counterparts from other schools, wearing armor and gear of a medium weight that also in some way increases the strength of their signs. 
The trials of the Griffin School, while physically demanding, also test the mental fortitude and intelligence of their apprentices, with students being offered two choices to complete their final trial. They either locate and retrieve a Griffin's egg, or recite the entirety of Liber Tenebrarum, word for word. However, none have ever chosen the latter option. After surviving their trials, the apprentices spend years studying monster lore, ancient texts, and the intricate workings of signs and magic. This rigorous academic training and study of courtly etiquette, combined with their physical training, makes them formidable opponents and respected warriors, as demonstrated by how, whilst at the height of their power, the Grand Master of this order was often summoned to the courts of kings to offer advice. If you value knowledge, magic, and understand the importance of courtly etiquette, then the School of the Griffin might be the Witcher School for you. From the soaring heights of the Griffin, we now descend into the rugged wilderness of the Bear. The School of the Bear is known for its witches who embody strength and endurance. The first school to break away from the original order of the witches. The witches of this school are not subtle or stealthy warriors. Instead, they are as formidable and unyielding as the creatures they're named after. Wearing armour consisting of hardy quilted gambesons, heavy mail that extends to the knees, and plate armour spaulders to protect the shoulders. They are hulking and solitary men, placing a greater emphasis on professionalism than fraternity and social interactions. Their training emphasises physical strength and endurance, teaching them to withstand blows that would fell a normal man. The Trials of the Bear are a test of resilience. After surviving the Trial of the Grasses, the apprentices undergo years of gruelling physical training in their freezing keep of Hen Kaduk, learning to wield heavy weapons and wear heavy armour without hindrance. This focus on physical strength and resilience makes them formidable opponents, capable of standing their ground against the assaults of even the most fearsome of monsters. The final trial of the mountains differs for these witches compared to their contemporaries, involving the ascension of the formidable Mount Gorgon, past the frozen bodies of their failed brothers, to eventually retrieve a runestone. If you value raw physical strength, lifting weights, and alone time, then the School of the Bear might be the witcher school for you to call home. Leaving the rugged wilderness of the Bear, we now sliver into the enigmatic world of the Viper. The School of the Viper is known for its elusive witches who blend stealth, cunning, and deadly precision to strike their enemies when they least expect it. Formed following a breakaway from the Witcher School of the Bear, these witches dwell within the chasms of the Tirtokair Mountains. The Viper School witches are masters of stealth and subterfuge. Their training emphasising speed, precision, and the ability to strike quickly, utilising twin small blades, and an assassination-based approach to killing monsters. Their fighting style features sinuous, unpredictable movements using the two blades, which were often coated with venomous concoctions, adding a deadly edge to their fast and lethal strikes. The trials of the Viper School, like the Viper itself, are ones of cunning and precision, spending years honing their stealth techniques, learning to move unseen and unheard. This focus on stealth and precision, combined with their use of poisons and willingness to kill humans, often led to these witches being hired as assassins. As part of their training, each student is given a pet to raise during their stay at their keep. They would form a strong emotional bond throughout their training with this pet. Years later, before becoming a fully-fledged witcher, they are ordered to slaughter their animal, breeding within them the cold-blooded ruthlessness required of these witcher hitmen. Notable members of the Viper School include Lefo of Gullet, a witcher known for his role in the assassinations of kings Foltest and Demavend. If you value stealth and precision, or are just particularly angsty, then the School of the Viper might be the witcher school for you. Beyond the well-known schools of the Wolf, Cat, Griffin, Bear, and Viper, there exists a few other witcher schools shrouded in mystery. The School of the Manticore, based out east in the Korath Desert, is a breakaway school from the School of the Bear. They spent much of their time protecting caravans from the horrors of the desert, and this at one point led to the group being briefly funded and supported by the nation of Zeracania, following an altercation with some manticores. There is also some information found online about the School of the Crane, a relatively recent school founded after a second conjunction of the spheres. They are reported to combat primarily sea and air monsters, even apparently using basic early firearms. But I couldn't find any concrete information backing this school up, however, so it's probably best left to the realms of fan fiction. 
And finally, there's the School of the Lynx, a school that we know practically nothing about, other than that it is a school created for use in the next Witcher game. No matter the school, every Witcher is a formidable warrior, trained to face the darkest monsters and the harshest facets of their world, each school offering a unique path, a unique set of trials, and a unique set of skills. The question is, which school do you belong to? Let me know down in the comments, and while you're at it, why not share your thoughts and theories on this new School of the Lynx. And make sure to subscribe to Law Tours to get your passport to your favourite fictional worlds. Thanks for watching, catch you next time.